Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Now today I suppose you could say it's part two of our mini series about um, how to win more games of FIFA ultimately, uh, involving the formation, tips, tricks, player instructions, you name it, we've got it. Now today we're going to be looking at how to chase a game from behind and we're going to be looking at how to see out a game if you are leading, which I know a lot of you are interested in. Again, Thanks to Josh Nine, he is the guy that has supplied us with all of this information. At time of recording, um, he was 67th in the world. I think that was last week's leaderboard, but this weekend wasn't complete yet. Um, yeah, just to give you an idea of the caliber of player that this information is coming from. So thanks, Josh, for the info. We appreciate it, and just wanted to draw attention to you guys as I have done in a few other videos but I'm going to do it again go and follow Josh on Twitter uh, drop him a follow or a sub on Twitch and just to draw your attention to uh, his coaching that he's now doing it's normally £12 an hour but if you are subscribed to myself you're going to get a cheeky little 25% off which is very good and I know some of you have taken that offer up so yeah well done for getting involved right okay let's get into it so on screen right now you can see the 4-3 one two tactics and um, that we showed you in the last video now that is going to get you into the game that's going to get you into the 70th 80th minute whatever but then what what do we do then so what we're going to have a look at to start with is what to do if you're chasing a game now i've got to tell you i tried all of these tactics out the past weekend just gone and i did get a pb from it it's only 19 but still a pb for me and uh, yeah it worked really well in fact with this with this 4-2-4 formation, which we're using to chase the game, I actually got one game scored the 85th, 90th minute, managed to turn it around completely, which was really, really good. So, right, let's have a look at the tactics and player instructions for this. So, like we said, this is for chasing the game. It's a 4-2-4 formation. And some of the tactics won't be a surprise to you but I mean it isn't a massive surprise but it's the first time I'd implemented it so like what does that tell you so right first of all we are on constant pressure uh, which of course Josh said this just doesn't allow the opponent to hold the boy the ball and to annoy you they've got to come out they've got to play and um, a lot of them just lose their bottle width um, eight width although this is the defensive width you know, obviously we're playing really attacking, so we want to keep the the pitch big. We don't want load of uh, we don't want to congest the middle of the park, basically. Um, nine depth, and Josh said, of course, that's because we're just looking to absolutely suffocate the life out of the opponent. And if we lose it, win it back. If we lose it, win it back again until like the pressure basically makes your opponent uh, crumble. In the offensive instructions, we're doing fast build-up. That is because, uh, just said realistically, you're going to end up losing... You're going to have a few counter-attacks if you're playing this for like 15, 20 minutes. But when you do win it back, you want to go, go, go. Of course, um, we've got loads of players in the box and <clears throat> kept it high for corners and free kicks just because we want loads of bodies in there. Let's have a look at the player instructions. Of course, the two centre-halves are stay back while attacking. Do need some defensive... Um, stability there um, right full backs to stay back while attacking and overlap which I thought this was a bit strange but that does uh, the full backs then do get involved a little bit without just completely bombing forward which is quite nice um, the two centre mids are on get forward so they're just being told to go 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 the left wing and the right wing are stay forward and get in behind and of course the two strikers are stay forward as well so really this is leaving you in a situation where you've got six players just bombing forward and attacking and they're also going to get supported by the two fullbacks so you could ultimately say it's like eight players um, pushed forward on that constant pressure um, it really does work quite well so I'd recommend that you give that a try so nice one Josh thanks for those tips right now this is the meaty one this is what we all struggle with let's be honest we all choke games where we're winning and we don't see them out so let's see what tips Josh has got for us in terms of seeing out the game so first and foremost he switches to a 4-2-3-1 uh, which surprises surprised me a little bit but at the end of the day Josh is the one that's um, getting 67th in the world not me <laughs> but like I said it did actually work well once I, I tried it out 
Now let's have a look at the uh, tactics and the instructions and then I'm going to tell you a few tips um, that Josh gave me to tell you guys. So first and foremost, defensive style. We're on balanced, we're not on drop back. Keep that in the back of your mind. Um, width, we're on four and depth, we're on four. So I was slightly surprised. I think like, <coughs> like I said, us mere mortals we'd m potentially would have a formation that is like drop back one depth, but you know, that isn't obviously as efficient as this, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Offensively, um, we are on sixth width, and we're on five for players in the box, two corners and two free kicks. So, like I said, it's not completely, it's not completely defensive, okay? Um, and Josh said to me, he said, the reason for the 4 2 3 1 is that you can still go forward, but you are going to be a lot more solid in the, at the back, and that the two CDMs are absolutely crucial in this and you can see there with the instructions for the CDMs they are stay back while attacking and cut passing lanes and that does work really really well back four stay back while attacking like you would imagine um, cam is just basic but the lamb and the ram are on come back on defense so you are going to end up having quite a few bodies um, back okay right so they're the instructions and the tactics. Just going to give you a few words of wisdom um, that Josh that Josh gave me. So, like I said, he said, you still go forward with this formation, but it will keep you solid. Obviously, the CDMs are key because it gives you so much protection um, from the two centre halves. And he said, when, you, when you're trying to see out like the last 10 minutes, do not run backwards with the ball. That's a no-go. Do not play around the back with the ball because one hiccup, and your opposition are going to score basically and you're just inviting so much pressure imagine playing against constant pressure and you're running backwards you're going to you know, try and play it around the back it's just not going to work so he said you need to be trying to take the ball up the pitch um, use your lamb and your ram get fresh legs on in those positions and spam those um, LBY through balls down the line to your fresh legs and then start playing the ball around, you know, 20, 30 yards out. That's the time, he says, to start playing it around. Almost look like you're going for goal, um, but just keep recycling it. He said, obviously, if you do get a chance to go for goal, it's too good to turn down, then obviously do it. But um, obviously, if you can keep hold of the ball, you're going you're gonna to win the game. The other thing was, he made key to point out, is do not rage if it doesn't go well. Um, if you do end up conceding the lead, he said do not rage because it won't help you in your future game. So there we go. Thanks for all that info, um, Josh. Guys, drop a like on the video if you've liked what you've seen. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. I've put um, Josh's socials on the screen now and they'll also be in the links below. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.